Hello! Smar's here. Um, so there's another Goblin Guild. I decided I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do some start doing some stuff a little bit different with the Goblin Guild things here. Um, just because there's not always something there's not always anything really interesting to talk about from week to week. So I decided that I'm gonna do something a little bit different uh, every week with the Goblin Guild. Um, I decided I'm gonna I'm gonna start answering questions um, and I'll try to you know answer them in under six minutes. Uh, any questions about um, you know anything goblin related? Um, and so to sort of um, I guess inaugurate this whole questions and answers thing, I'm gonna um, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna start by taking uh, a question that was asked by uh, Cool Breeze um, in his in his uh, fan commentary over at. Uh, the Goblin Underground, and he asked um, in 16A of Goblin, he wanted to know who built the Doma of Enlightenment and why are they there? You know, why is this one there? Probably why are any of them there? But um, so the Doma of Enlightenment uh, were there. They were built by you know just earlier logic smiths um, when there were more definitely more of them. On uh, on Aravana, I almost called it a different planet. Whoops, <laughs> um, but it was you know it, it was it was sort of um, they represent actually different things uh, to different communities of logic smiths, um, and they may have multiple ones within you know a community or within an area, um, but they can be anything from like schools. Uh, to historical museums or in, in, in the case of like the, the Doma of Enlightenment that they found under, under Dunburst uh, back in issue 3, 4, and 5, it was built to be a prison for a being that was trapped inside of a logic artifact, um, which, you know, and that's why there were incantations all over the place. They, they served different purposes. Uh, the one that the one that's in 16a, it's not it's it's unclear what the purpose was. But considering that there are no incantations on the walls, um, and it's it's very plain and very basic, it was it might have been like a school or it could have been a library or something like that. But that's what they you know they did. They had these places in the you know uh, located you know either near towns or within within the town in in some form of community where people could come and they could. Uh, learn more about you know the history of logic, the you know the hi you know the history of logic smiths, the history of the you know just the world and and their their own societies and stuff because it it wasn't always uh, so logic centric you know it was it went into everything, um, yeah they were like keepers of knowledge across the board but uh yeah and the other one is um, he asked another question he asked. Uh, what law did 26 break, um, you know, that the council brought up in 16A? Um, let me see if I can make this really quick. 26, the law that he basically broke was uh, he went on his own. He, Sune and Sethire, intercepted, um, a tra you know, a, a message that was being delivered to someone else telling the location of Mumu and essentially Amy. And they intercepted it and they went, they took it, uh, you know, of their own accord. They went out there and they captured Mumu and they thought they were doing a good thing. You know, uh, of course, it turns out that Sunni and Sethire had their own mission separate from 26. But what 26 had in mind was to bring it back to Aburoso and keep it in, in their control, keep it in their safety. You know, he had, you know, good intentions in mind, but, you know, um, you don't go over, you don't, you don't step out of protocol. You know, that's what happened. He, he stepped outside of protocol. It was that particular mission was way above his station in the organization. And, uh, that's what he was being reprimanded for, you know, um, for kind of just being disobedient and, and, and taking action on his own, which could have jeopardized any other missions and jeopardize it could have jeopardized a lot of things but of course it turns out that it was a bit of a setup they knew that um sune and sethire would take the bait and go after mumu 
and they just needed to sort of weed them out, you know, you know, flush, they needed to sort of flush those guys out um, so they'd know for sure that they were uh, Order of the S. So, yeah. Um, so there you go. A couple of questions answered. Um, honestly, you know, really, 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 uh, if you have any questions, you know, you can send them in, in the form of notes. You can leave comments. And uh, and I guess even, you know, I, can, I even take emails. I mean, you can send an email to goblincomics at gmail.com or solomonmars at gmail.com. Um, but yeah, awesome. I would, I mean, I really want to answer as many questions as I possibly can. If you have questions, you know, if, if there's some things still, you know, about the story, and I'm sure there are a lot of, a lot of questions, you know, it, it's some things that are just really boggling about the story. But, um, if I can answer it without spoiling any future story, then I definitely will. So I hope to hear from you real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.